In this video, we will learn more about containers and how to add them in Kutubi Author. If you're targeting mobile devices and readers uh, on small screens, then it's very important to uh, design your ebook in a reflowable layout. Now, just to recap, re with reflowable layout, the text wraps or reflows depending on the screen size. And this makes things very readable on small screens. The user will be able to adjust the font size, he'll be able to increase it very large or make it very small, and at the same time nothing will overflow or come out of the of the width of the screen. Now the only problem with reflowable layouts is the difficulty in design. Things are not very flexible, you cannot stack elements on, on top of each other, and it's um, it's a bit difficult to have things arranged in, uh, in a certain layout that, you, you, that you're planning. Now that's where containers come in. Containers is a way for us to make things easier for people to design reflowable layouts. So there are like uh, encapsulations where you have, uh, you can assign different uh, colors, uh, background images and so on. Inside the container you can add any kind of uh, content that you can imagine. So inside a container you can add uh, images, text, uh, questions, videos and so on and you can also add other containers. So it's ba it basically does uh, what it says. It's a container. You can contain anything inside. And with this, with this simple tool you can achieve a lot. So let's look at an example from a blank book. We're going to uh, select a reflowable layout chapter and click on the container tool. Okay, so uh, we'll go through the different options quickly. From the container type, you can set from two options. You can have the container expand vertically depending on the, t on the amount of content inside the container, or you can have it fixed to a certain height, and if the content exceeds the height, then a scroll bar will appear. So we'll leave it on expand vertically. You can set the dimensions from here, or you can do it visually. It's up to you. Uh, you can have text wrapping so that the container uh, text outside the container will uh, wrap around it and uh, the container will not consume an entire line. You can have a margin around the container. You can have a padding. A padding is like a margin but it's inside. It's inside the container. So the content inside the container. Actually you can think of this as the distance between the content inside the container and the border of the container. You can assign the text color for everything inside the container. You can have a background color. You can have a background image. So it's a, you can, uh, the, the whole uh, container will have a, an image as a background. You can assign a border color and border thickness and the border radius. So you can see there's a lot of options to choose from. So let me just choose some random properties. Choose a light blue background. And we're gonna leave everything as it is create okay so that's our container you can see we can type inside it you can actually add, uh, add images let's add just quickly a small image okay we have a picture of an elephant Actually, let's uh, wrap this to the left so we can continue typing. Okay, and then you can also add another container here. And um, give this a dark red color, background color, and the text will have it white and we'll wrap this to the right. Okay, the width is set for uh, to 100 percent, so we'll just resize it, and you can see the text wraps around it. So that's it's a basic concept. You'll have to play around with it, and you'll have to have some kind of plan in your mind how you, you're going to use it. It's a uh, it's a potential tool there that you can use to achieve uh, very nice effects and uh, to uh, show your layout in a in a nice way that's unorthodox 
and uh, can seem to other, for uh, to others as a fixed layout, but in reality it's not. It's a reflowable layout. Hope that was helpful, and good luck.